Hey all, my name is Jenica. I'm from the Waldorf West Branch. I'm gonna show you a very basic tutorial on how to use a Cricut machine. When you get a Cricut or you have the ability to utilize one, you use a system called Design Space. Design Space is where you design the files that you're going to cut with the machine. This shirt, for example, I just typed the words and then I printed it and I heated it to the shirt. This shirt, I had to convert a picture of a tiger and this man in order to put it into design space for it to print. It's a converted file. So today we're gonna make a simple file. It's already made in my design space and I'm ready to print it. A couple of things about the Cricut. What I have is an Explorer Air 2. It's the second oldest uh, model that they have out there. Something newer called a Maker. Um, but you can cut paper, cardboard, leather, wood, fabric, vinyl um, and poster board with this machine. Sometimes you have to get different um, tools to cut with, to cut different material, but what we're cutting today is vinyl. In order to make shirts or anything that you heat, you get heat transfer vinyl. So that's what this gold vinyl is. That's what this red and black vinyl on this t-shirt is. It's called heat transfer vinyl. When you're printing to put on a shirt or a hat or socks or pants, you have to mirror your image. So you have to turn it around. You put the vinyl shiny side down on your cutting boards and it's going to print backwards so that when we heat to the material, you can read the words the right way. So I've already in design space put a file in that we're gonna print. This is white heat transfer vinyl. This is the cutting board. You slide it into your machine and push the arrows. It's gonna be hard to hear on this recording, but this is called a Cricut, not a cry cut as it looks. Um, there's a very light noise that the Cricut machine makes. It sounds like a Cricut. When the Cricut button is blinking, you push that. And it starts to print for you. So I've already gone through and printed what we're going to put on this shirt. You can't see that here but it comes out backwards. I'm gonna to start to weed it with this weeding tool. And for the sake of time, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I do wanna show you what it looks like when you weed your vinyl. You pull a piece up, and what you're trying to leave on the vinyl is everything that you're going to print on the shirt. So you're getting rid of your excess. So you can see that there's glasses and a word there. I've already weeded one and this print says bookish. It's glasses, glasses that says bookish that I'm putting on this shirt. So I also have a heat um, press machine. You can use an iron. It doesn't get the, the ability to heat as hot as a heat press machine and it doesn't, um, it doesn't adhere the vinyl as well as a heat press machine, but an iron will work. So I'm putting this file on a pocket of a shirt and I'm going to press it. And my machine has a temperature reading and a time setting. Um, I press for 30 seconds at 330 degrees and it counts down. When it's done, I lift the lid up. Some heat transfer vinyl is cool, cool peel only. The one that I have on here, it doesn't matter. So it's warm still, but I am able to peel the vinyl. And then my print is on my shirt and it says bookish. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.